Hey guys, what's up? This is a video from Edge Productions, and today I'll be showing you how to overlay logos mainly for clans and how to sort of make it if you have your logo. So, first things first, I'm going to show you the sort of things you can do. So, that's my original layer just here, and that's what we can achieve or the any type of flag I did Australian because I'm Australian and like stained steel scratch steel any sort of colors okay let's get stuck into this so you want to go new file new call it whatever you want I'm just gonna go tutorial uh, width 800 by 800 Okay, now we have this. We want to double click, press OK, and click on might be on paint bucket. So you want to hold down this, click on gradient, and we want to click on this ball effect, press down here. I'm going to choose two different types of the two different gradients, press color, and we want sort of a lighter. A lighter grey, and for the other colour, we want a not black but a darker grey. And then, what you want to do, find the centre, hold shift, click, and drag out just a bit over. Uh, I think I'll make it a bit, a little bit brighter because that does not look overly too good. Okey doke. Oh, there we go. Okay. Next thing is you want to take your logo for a clan or whatever. I have it just here. Drag it on board. Pull this back up. And you want to press enter. Go back to this tool. And here we have a logo. So wherever you want to put it, command T to scale it. And you can just drag it out, make it bigger to your preferable size, etc. Okie doke. <clears throat> so now that we have that, to do this effect, what you need to do is you need to find a. You need to get some textures, and here I have my folder full of textures so I'm going to test an example of uh, this plated metal so what you want to do whoop, I'll just quickly drag this so what you want to do is move this across drag the plated metal on and for this one it's small so you just want to make this the same size as your logo around about and you can drag it out etc just make this a little bit smaller and press enter so next thing you want to go paint just click on that and this will say it'll go doom or whatever so press ok and now it's fully editable and so what you want to do is while plate of metal is Selected, hold command and press on this little thumbnail where FS is. And now you will see the outline of my logo or your logo. And you want to go, where is it, layer? No. Oh, okay. I understand the shortcut. So command, shift, all at the same time, and then press I. And then hit the delete button. And Command D will deselect that. So now that we have that, it it has the outline, but just doesn't look good. So you want to come over here, go normal, and overlay usually works the best. And here we go. So if you want to move them, then you have to move both of them. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but <coughs> oh, sorry. So you want to click both of them. Okie doke, so that's general, and instead of overlay, if it doesn't turn out too good, if you're 
colors and stuff, try soft light, it just finds the thing. Hard light, not usually the best. Linear light, not usually. Linear dodge add, sometimes the best. Overlay or soft light. That's what I have found, guys. That is the way to go. So I'm going to show you another example. So let me just bring my textures back up. Drag this over. I will show you the one what I had at the start of the video, which is... <coughs> which is this here. So drag this on. Cover it up. Press enter. Go to your paint. That'll come up. Press OK. And hold command. Click on this logo thumbnail. Uh, command shift I. Delete. Command D. A lot of shortcuts and all that. So go over here to this thing. <laughs> and then overlay. And there you have it. Brings out the beautiful. Um, <laughs> the, brings out the beautiful Jagger, etc. And if you're not looking for like a pure overlay, then you could just get, say, this metal here. It sort of looks a bit scratched up. And same thing, I'm just going to do this real quick. Uh, move it out and uh, paint. Okay. Uh, command, click on this, command shift I, delete, pretty simple, you know, and normal, overlay, and if you want to change, like you don't like plated metal, simply just take it off, don't like that, take it off, don't like that, take it off, and it is back to normal, so if you just want this, just press that I, and yeah, just fill around, um, yeah, if you're wondering how to do this, it's pretty simple. Text, click, type in your name. Oh, that's a bad color, sorry. Um, preferably that. So, you just want to click the tick. Oh, crap, what is going on? R-A-G-E. <coughs> Oh, very sorry. Okay, press the tick. And you wouldn't be able to say it because it's still grey, but black. Oh, crap. Double click. Go gradient overlay. And so you sort of want, because this was going to be yellow and... So I'm going to go yellow and black. Yellow and black. Switch these over real quick. It was mainly yellow. So, okay, okay. Command T again. Hold Shift. Bring it up. Put this back to like normal. Okay, dark. And press the I. Bit of scratch metal. Metal plating. Looks alright, but, you know. Actually, I do want to show you just one more. Looks really good. Great idea. If you do have a wood texture, where's a good wood texture? I did have an exceptionally good one. Oh, oh this this one's good. I have used this one before. So, enter, paint, click, okay. Um, hold command, click this. Command Shift I, delete, Command D, repeating this for you guys. Hope it you get it memorized, etc. There we go. The wood looks exceptionally good. But say you put a colour and you need it to be a different sort of colour with this, Command U and this little hue and saturation will come up. Tick colorize. And there we go. Pick your destinated colour. I'm going to go red, saturation, sort of how much you want it, I'm going to go there, and of course your lightness, so dark, light, preferably put that a tiny bit lighter, but 
depends on your color and there you have it so and if you only want a color you would want to go like this and you would want to go command U bring it up for your actual logo itself and you can colorize that so there you have it turn the saturation down you don't want it too high lightness, darkness, etc yeah that's different colors all that business I'm just going to change that back that looks really nice nice carbon effect if you are wondering where I get these textures download them off the internet tons of GFX people give them away for like how many subs they have like a 50k giveaway or something anyway that was a video from Rage Productions I would really appreciate if you like this and I would appreciate it if you commented what you thought, any problems, and subscribe for more Minecraft tutorials, COD, Minecraft tutorials, COD tutorials, GFX, don't know why I stuff it up, and goodbye.